Federico Garcia Lorca's play, Yerma, is a tragic exploration of societal expectations, personal desire, and the consequences of unfulfilled yearnings. Set in rural Spain, the play revolves around Yerma, a woman whose deep longing for motherhood clashes with her barren marriage. Through vivid imagery, poetic language, and intense character development, Lorca delves into the themes of repression, honor, and destiny. Yerma's life is dominated by her desire to have a child, which she believes is the ultimate purpose of her existence. Her husband, Juan, however, is more concerned with maintaining his economic stability and social reputation than fulfilling his wife's emotional and biological needs. This fundamental discord between the couple is a driving force of the play, highlighting the restrictive nature of traditional gender roles and societal norms. Juan's pragmatic approach to life starkly contrasts with Yerma's passionate yearning, creating a palpable tension that permeates their interactions. Lorca uses rich symbolism to underscore the play's themes. The recurrent imagery of water, for instance, symbolizes fertility and the life-giving force that Yerma desperately seeks. In one poignant scene, Yerma laments, My throat is dry and my eyes are dry, but I still have this terrible desire to weep. This line not only reflects her emotional desolation but also her physical barrenness. The dry, arid landscape of the play mirrors Yerma's inner emptiness and her unfulfilled potential as a mother. The character of Yerma is complex and multifaceted, embodying both strength and vulnerability. Her determination to become a mother is unwavering, and she is willing to defy societal expectations and endure personal suffering to achieve her goal. Yet, this single-minded pursuit also leads to her psychological and moral downfall. As her frustration grows, Yerma becomes increasingly isolated, alienated from her community and even from herself. Her interactions with other characters, such as her friend Maria and the old pagan woman, serve to further emphasize her loneliness and the societal pressures that confine her. The play also explores the concept of honor, which is deeply ingrained in the rural society depicted by Lorca. Yerma's inability to conceive a child brings shame upon her and Juan, as fertility and motherhood are seen as essential components of a woman's honor. This societal expectation exacerbates Yerma's sense of failure and drives her to desperate measures. The weight of honor and reputation becomes a suffocating force, leading to tragic consequences. Lorca's use of poetic language and lyrical dialogue enhances the emotional intensity of the play. The characters' speeches are imbued with a sense of longing and sorrow, reflecting the deep-seated desires and frustrations that define their lives. Lorca's mastery of language allows him to convey complex emotions and themes with profound sensitivity and nuance. The play's structure, with its progression from hope to despair, mirrors Yerma's emotional journey and culminates in a devastating climax. The climax of Yerma is both shocking and inevitable. In a final, desperate act, Yerma kills Juan, believing that he is the obstacle to her fulfillment. This act of violence is a culmination of her years of repressed desire and unrelenting frustration. It is both a moment of liberation and destruction, as Yerma simultaneously breaks free from her oppressive circumstances and seals her own tragic fate. Her final words, I have killed my child, resonate with a profound sense of loss and futility, encapsulating the central tragedy of the play. In Yerma, Federico Garcia Lorca crafts a powerful and poignant exploration of the human condition. Through the character of Yerma, Lorca delves into the depths of desire, the constraints of societal norms, and the tragic consequences of unfulfilled dreams. The play's rich symbolism, poetic language, and emotional intensity make it a timeless and compelling work that continues to resonate with audiences. Yerma is a testament to Lorca's ability to capture the complexities of human experience and to convey the profound struggles of individuals trapped by fate and circumstance.